Hello everyone, this is GamePro24X, and today patch 1.10 has come out. And it came out with a bunch of interesting new features and mechanics that I'm going to highlight today. Um, I'm going to go by the update data that you have to download. Now if you look here on the bottom right, it says I have version 1.09, but I did download version 1.10. And I have all the content that 1.10 has, yet it still tells me I'm on a different version. And just before this, um, 1.09, my game was also telling me I was in 1.08. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, also, another person came to me telling me that they have version 1.12. And like I said, I don't know what the fuck is going on with the versions, but I do know that we are on 1.10. And I'm going to go off of the update data that you have to download. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into all this because there's a lot to cover. First of all, there's a brand new event. I won't be covering it in this video, uh, so expect another video today uh, detailing the entire event. So to start off, we have some brand new weapons or weapon, I should really say. Please specify um, a project. So far, we have. Ocelot's Tornado, and I'm gonna try and go ahead and update it or upgrade it to his, to the best of its ability, and then I'll just give a weapon review of it. I do not know if the Revolution Gaming is still even doing this anymore, or he probably will after someone tells him that there's new weapons. But yeah, also another thing you want to look at: we have we now ha can go up to grade 15 on our weapons. Yeah, that's pretty fucking insane. Grade 15. So, I don't know what weapons will ever go up that high, but we'll find out in the future. So along with just that, there's also been higher versions of weapons, like the Z. Now there's like a Grade 9 version, or a Grade 9 Riot SMG. Grade 9 Assault Rifles. And I know the G44 also has a new upgrade as well. I, there it is right there, the Grade 8. So that one's new. Yeah, but if you're also noticing about the unit levels, we're going up to like 130 and all this shit. So yeah, the grind's going to be real fucking intense. The new S1000 shoddy. So it's slightly powerful than its previous version. I don't believe there's anything new here in the grenade launchers because these are all pretty old and they've always been there. However... I've just gotten some information that the that this weapon right here has been extremely nerfed or buffed, however you want to pronounce it. But basically, the research requirements have went down significantly, and also the usage requirements too. Before, it used to be precious metals and stuff that you needed to use to make it and use it. Now you just cost it just costs GMP. That's it. And from what I've been told from the from the Discord chat is that it's only requiring you from requiring GMP and I'm gonna go ahead and leave this up here so you guys can see that little bit of the conversation about that. There's some um, higher grade sniper rifles. What I'm kind of hyped about is this grade 8 Serval because that wasn't there before so I cannot wait to build that however I need level 131 base development to make it so I can't wait because I love the Serval. Another interesting bit you want to look at the Serval is that there's an undermount option, meaning that you can put a foregrip or, hell, even an underbarrel grenade launcher if you want. So like I said, I'm hyped for that fucking gun, and I cannot wait, I can, I cannot wait to get it. Because if it's the one thing I've always wanted with the Serval, is the ability to put a grenade launcher on. So we have the Alam 48. That's new. We have some new higher grade rockets, which is the non-lethal rocket launcher the killer b and also the cgm 25 i i didn't think they would actually make it even stronger so yeah that that's where you're gonna need to level it up there's nothing new in the like in the shield side there is two new versions of the grenade the hand grenade and the stun grenade There's really nothing new here in the in the placeable mines section. 
and there's nothing new here in the item section nor in the tools section or the prosthetic arm section now here's the real interesting interesting bit is that now well before we used to go up to grade 8 and I already had like my battle dress grade 8 upgraded and I'm currently building the sneaking suit grade 8 now we have grade 9 10 and 11 and you don't see that here now but it is illustrated here um, on the news data about what stuff is coming out so we can expect very high levels of units that we need to build this shit like 140 seems to be the max to build everything what's also really interesting is that look at the defense up it goes from five and then it just says defense up so I don't know if it still keeps stacking or I don't know but but yeah it's it's a lot of shit and it's the same thing with the DLC suit as well so that's crazy though it's it's a lot of shit and I don't even know how much stronger the battle dress will get so we'll have to find out later there is absolutely nothing new in any of the security devices either so you don't really have to go bother with that so whatever you have built you if you have them all to the max you're practically good but I wouldn't put it past me that they would increase the level unit the unit levels for that So the next bit here is the staff recruiting. There's two special ones. It, it says it'll give you special staff skills. So until this one is done, I won't be able to check what those skills are. And also I won't be able to check if the Phantom Dispatch Unit method still works. So look in the, look in the comment and in the description and I'll keep you guys updated about if that method still works on patch 1.10. So please bear with me and I will have that data up as soon as the 11 hours pass. Another cool thing is now we have add, they have added new tasks to the single player campaign. Which is pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm all for that. And it looks like most of these are in specific levels. So yeah, just load up your iDroid and see what you can get. However, the only two that I'm really focused on are these two down here. The S+. Plus for both of these subsistence missions. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do a, a small video about how to complete those and you can bank on those. But yeah, it's, I'm actually pretty happy that they're giving you higher ranked staff through these tasks. However, these are just the only two available, so it, it's not enough, but it is a good start. So here is one of the bits from the official website and under the news section, detailing about what's inside this update. And Right here, it's talking about new soldiers with different skills. And as you see here, this is Defender 1. And this is all going to go towards your defense, offense, whatever capability you have. And to get into a little bit more of a detail about it, here's the info that I got from one of my staff at my mother base in Discord. So here's some of the information that he was able to gather. So I thank you very much, Drebin512. For getting this for me because uh, I probably would not have been able to grab this information as quickly as I could so please give her, give him a shout out for that and same goes for like uh, the Misra grenade launcher or however you pronounce it he he also told me some of the stuff about how it, the the cost had been reduced now here comes something new and interesting when it comes to your FOB raids is when you invade someone now you have the option to use dispatch FOB units for this Please select and I'll go ahead and read off on some of these so for the first one it's basically it, it'll remove the um, it'll remove some staff off of that FOB if you're successful and the higher the grade the more of an effect it will have along with a higher success rate and if you go up to grade 5, it will start using S plus people in your FOB. Now, like I said before, as it is right now, I can't currently test if Phantom Dispatch Unit still works. So I will not be able to I won't be able to know if it does or not. And I think I might have a slightly altered iteration of the Phantom Dispatch Unit when it comes to this. 
so that you don't end up losing S plus staff when you're trying to do this. So essentially you could just kind of like cheese it and you can get the, the better percentages or a better chance at fighting these FOBs whenever you want. They also cost uh, vehicles as well. So you're going to have to probably build up your dummy profile to make sure you have a lot of these vehicles that are listed here. That way you don't ever have to worry about running out. So yeah, we have the security devi devices, the armory, the anti-reflex research, the reinforcements. The reinforcements one sounds interesting. And if you're successful, basically if you get caught, you won't deal with any reinforcements. So yeah, and look at the su success rate. Like I'm already at 100%, meaning that I'll just get it instantly. And then the last one is called vehicle escort. And that one will practically increase the chances of all of the other dispatch units that are going on at that moment. So, like I said, if you have a lot of high rank staff, you could easily raid FOBs. However, defending your FOB will now become a lot more difficult than it was previously. Since now people have this option to, to essentially nerf your FOB. So the final bit here is the weekly league and the short league. The weekly league is, is it's the same exact thing that we've been seeing this entire time. And you want to know something that's crazy? I actually got a draw on my first match. I didn't know you could get a draw, so I thought that was really interesting. <laughs> but yeah, um, the weekly league is exactly what, what we've been doing this entire time. Another thing that was not mentioned um, is that now the rewards for the PF rankings have increased. Now you can get 5 S plus staff or 3 S plus plus staff for, for an X amount of PF points. So I thought that was really nice. Now for the short league, I ha it hasn't been completed yet on my profile. So all I know is that it's just going to take... It it's just going to put you... Let me see. A short-term virtual league consisted by users who has specially applied to the participate so i don't know what you're going to get out of it you're probably going to get some special rewards and maybe some more pf ranks or pf points but yeah that's something extra you can do on the side if you really want to now for me i don't really care about this pf thing or these weekly things i i really don't but there's a lot of people who do Okay, now let's go ahead and cover what's going to be expected to come within the next few server maintenance. So it seems that right now we have the sneaking suit security guard stealth. And it seems that, and it looks like whenever you get caught, if you're on an FOB that's using sneaking suits, they will be temporarily invisible. How long? I do not know. And I kind of don't want to find out because I don't want to risk losing a lot of shit or pissing people off. But it really does look like the higher the grade, the more of the effect will occur. So it looks like it will start at grade 9. Unless I'm wrong, and it will do that with whatever stealth suit you have. But yeah, that, that's practically it. So the UAV drone that is supposed to have the battery vaporizer, that isn't out yet. But this is something to be expected. And it will start from grade 9 and go all the way up to 11. And what it does is it will practically jam whatever you're using that uses batteries like the night vision goggles. So that is interesting. Another interesting bit, this is I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume this is an FOB only weapon, but this is a little decoy throwing weapon that it will that will distract guards for you. And I don't know, this might be a, a game changer for me because if it's really good, then I might actually start running FOBs often and sneaking past everyone. Because if it's something that I like to do is I like to distract guards and sneak my way across. And it's very hard to do that when I'm using just magazines. At least with this, it seems like it'll draw the entire platform towards that area. But I don't know yet. Um, it looks like this non-lethal machine gun does not have a grade. And I'm probably sure that's an error on their part. But that's something that will be expected to be released a little bit later. So I can't wait to see that, and I can't wait to see it in action, because holy shit. That was something that I've always wanted when I was playing single player or something like that, is this fucking machine gun, because oh my god. <laughs> uh, 
Now, of course, we already have the Tornado 6 Revolver, and it's going to start at Grade 3. But uh, currently, as it is, I do not know how far it'll go in the skill tree. I'm going to assume up to 9, but we'll find out later. And I will do rep weapon reviews on all of these, because I don't think Revolutionary Gaming is going to do that anymore. Now, the thing that I am completely fucking hyped about is this rocket launcher right here. Because it is a grade 5 Fulton rocket launcher. Yes, you heard it, everyone. If you have played Peace Walker, they had a similar weapon in that game. And it was fun as fuck to use, especially during boss battles. Because you can get a lot of S-rank staff really quickly with it. And all you do is just keep blasting everyone and it'll capture people in a group. And it will automatically attach Fulton devices on everyone. So I'm hyped as fuck. For this rocket launcher. Because that's something that I've always wanted. Now we can go into FOBs or FOB events. And just fucking Fulton everyone. Just just shoot everyone in crowds. And that's it. <laughs> I, I really do hope you can use it in single player. It will be a real bummer if you can't. But yeah. <clears throat> now for the final bits of information that are really important that I know some of you are really asking for is if have any of the farming methods been patched and I can safely tell you guys that patch 1.06 AFK farming has not been patched patch 1.06 materials like material gathering has not been patched so yes both of those still work and I'll have links below in the description leading you to the exact videos that I'm talking about. Because I know I have two versions of these videos and one of them is old and outdated and doesn't work. But the other ones do. Now as for the Phantom Dispatch Unit, like I said, currently I can't test it at the moment because I have to wait for my current unit to come back. But once I get information about it, then I'll let you guys know in the comment section... Or in the description if it does work or not. So just hang tight. It's only like 10 hours from now. So no rush. But the last things I want to leave off is. Um, I know the level 140 or level 130 level cap is very, very um, taunting. But I am coming out with a method soon. That will kind of help alleviate that problem once and for all. And... Essentially, it would work. It would be in your best interest if you were in Discord chat because it would make things a lot easier for you. And this is something I've been working on for a while because this isn't something I can just test in one day. No, it, sadly, it's not. But if if I if I iron out this method and test every possible scenario and every possibility, then we. I can give I can make sure that levels are no longer a concern in the community. So please hold on a little bit longer. It's I've been working on this for about a month now. And yes, like every and I've had a lot of successes and a lot and I have a lot of failures, like a lot of failures because I'm learning this new method. I'm discovering how it works. So please bear with me. It will come out soon. So for now just hang tight, do the FOB event. And please look forward to that FOB event in like an hour or two when I'm done recording that. So, yeah, a lot of shit to do. Uh, I'm kind of surprised Konami is now just adding more shit to the game. I just don't like the whole extremely high level cap because now it just, it really does feel like they're just doing their best to extend it as much as possible. However, adding new stuff like weapons and mechanics always makes a game feel fresh. So that's one thing I'll give for them is adding new content. So yes, I know this video is kind of long, but there was a lot of shit to cover. So I hope all of this was very informal to, informal to all of you. And like I said, look forward to my other videos. And I thank you guys for watching this and supporting me through all of this. And I'll do my very best to make sure you guys get the best experience possible out of this game. So until then, I will see you guys later.